All right, let me talk about compressed natural gas for a minute. We'll make a short little thing on that. The question comes out, how do you know what type of oil to use depending upon how this compressed natural gas engine is, okay? Because I can get a lot of different kinds. I can have a compressed natural gas pump sitting out here somewhere on a pipeline pumping oil. Big, giant engine with a pump just pumping down a pipeline, right? That's compressed natural gas. However, it's feeding off natural gas that's coming usually down on the joining pipeline, which is incredibly dirty, okay? It's not what we call clean compressed natural gas. It's real natural gas. So to deal with that, there's actually special oils because they call that raw natural gas. Neither one of our oils are designed for that. So if you run into that, you get a good chance. And those promise if we ever run into that, they'll make it because it's big business. There's pumps sitting every probably every 15 or 20 miles on a pipeline running all the way from Alaska to the Midwest, okay, coming through Canada if you do it that way. So those pumps are constantly running off of the natural gas. It's a special thing. Now, the compressed natural gas that we end up having down here that you can get in a pipeline or you can get in a station or you get in a big bottle or they pump it in the truck, that's a filtered gas. It's been filtered so that it's part of the really See, that comes out of the ground with a lot of acids and high nitrate and nitric acid and stuff that comes out of the ground. So it's, it's very corrosive. So you, you modify that and fix it some before you put it into use for the everyday common application. So if you have a vehicle and it's got compressed natural gas engine in it, the question is, what does that mean? Because I can take your Ford or Chevy or Dodge engine, and I can have it run on natural gas. Sure. You can put a kit in and shift it over, and it'll run on natural gas. City of Orlando used to do it years ago. Yeah, but it's the same engine. Perfect. So here's the point: it still takes the same oil because it has not been modified in the valve train, in the valve guides to run on natural gas. It's just a standard automotive engine diesel engine running on compressed natural gas. So what that means is you typically use whatever oil would be designed. If it was a diesel design engine, you use a 1540 CJ4 or CI4 plus diesel engine oil, one of those. If it was a gasoline engine, you run the standard engine oil and a gasoline engine. Now, if that engine has been modified, it was built for natural gas from the factory, and that's what it's built for, natural gas only. Now you come over to natural gas engine oils. Now some of these that have the ability to go between natural gas, uh, propane, diesel, those, you know, those alternatives, mixed fuel capability, then you have to determine from the manufacturer what they call for an engine oil. There's actual specs for natural gas engine oil, and that would be different. If that's a spec they're calling out, then we make one called vehicular natural gas engine oil that would fit that application. For the big uh, stationary engine that's generating electricity or generating uh, or being used as a pump, a pump, that's called stationary natural gas engine oil. We got those two. So They're you're saying if it's, not, if it's not retrofitted and it is actually a natural gas engine, then you have to use the natural gas. Right. But if you're retrofitting a diesel you engine... You stick with the uh, diesel engine on it. All right. Okay. And so when you see flex fuel, is that what it's talking about? It has all three capability or it has a... When you see it has flex fuel, what's going to happen is, is that you're going to go to the one for the liquid, which is gasoline and it'll use a gasoline engine oil rather than a natural gas. And here's the reason. The uh, natural gas engines are made assuming that there is no upper cylinder lubrication and that the, uh, the valve, the push rods that go through the valve guides are going to have to be lubricated with something different and what happens is, since they're made out of stellite, they'll last in a natural gas engine. The ones in a car are not made out of stellite. So when you use a natural gas, we have to continue to use regular lubricants in that engine because it's not designed to run actually 
mechanically it'll run on natural gas, but it wasn't as far as the metallurgy designed to run on natural gas, it was designed to run gasoline. So you always go to what is least protected. Okay, I think I didn't make my question clear. Okay. When you see flex fuel in the application guide, are they saying it's a gasoline engine with the capability yes. of using natural gas? Yes. Okay. Yeah, flex fuel, anytime with the flex fuel that it can run on the liquid fuel, whether it's diesel or gas, it means that it's modified so that it can run on natural gas or propane, but it was designed to run on the liquid fuel, gasoline, or diesel and you're just making it flex that it can run on the others, including alcohol, which is running on, uh, I'd love to see a car really run on that uh, uh, E85. That would have to be amazing to me. Alcohol's got such low energy content in it, I'd love to see that thing have any acceleration at all, you know. It'd be amazing. So anyway, <laughs> natural gas, just remember that if it is a modified engine, modified to run on natural gas, stick with the lubrication, that came for the liquid fuel, whether it's diesel or gas. If it comes as a natural gas engine, and it says it's a natural gas engine, and, it, and it, it'll say in the owner's manual, it'll have a rating for natural gas engine oil, and that will tell you which one of our oils to use, because they have the ratings on it for natural gas engine.